Well, just what we needed this morning was more rain when you're behind trying to catch up on projects. And uh, yeah, looks like a little bit wet to work today. So I thought we'd do something a little different today, guys. I wanted to actually share with you like some of the frustration that goes on with these jobs. I kind of personally think it's, there's just too many times like social media influencers decide that they want to look good and they don't put the struggle, the grind, the hustle, the meat of what actually has to happen on a job to get it to the where you see it and it looks so perfect. So today I'm gonna leave a lot of that stuff in. And I'm also going to try something a little different too. I'm going to bop in back and forth down in the lower screen and just share with you what I see as I'm seeing it. How many of you guys want to bet there's no way Tim's going to let that boulder sit there? No way. <laughs> yep. Nope, not a chance. What is he doing? Where'd they go? Was it? Oh, 9.15. Tim has to take a crap every morning at 9.15. It probably was 9.15. And here they come. That's a good looking star. It's kind of off though. See how that stone he just placed? Slightly off. Got rid of that first one. You don't like that one either. I've worked with Tim for 20 some years. He's absolutely meticulous. Which makes it hard to bid jobs with him. <laughs> so I actually made him half owner of the company. <laughs> now he's learning. You do have to be somewhat efficient. But he'll watch him. He'll put a grade rod on this thing. He'll he's doing here. I don't know. There's no way. I don't like that stone. You guys like that one? Alex, let me tell you a little story about him. Good effing kid. And uh, I actually swore he would never be allowed back in my house. Him and his family came over when he was like nine years old. And him and his brothers went down into my gym of my basement and destroyed it. I mean, they broke the ceiling fan and I'm like, how do, how are kids that destructive? And when they laughed, I said to my wife, that kid's never allowed back at my house again. And now he's got full access to everything. <laughs> well, you know, to repair stuff and stuff. There you go, look at that boulder, that's perfect. Yeah, good. I like those two. I like those two. Alex, you gotta learn to keep your butt out of the camera. I don't like that. I don't like this new camera angle either, but they decided to move it. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the base. Um, this is called Recycled Class 5. And what this is, um, this is standard class five. Class five in Minnesota is three quarter inch rock 
and then it's got fines all the way down to dust and then it packs like concrete but here's a really really weird thing it's actually porous you can actually technically use this as drainage aggregate if you know what you're doing it's completely bizarre in a different video I was saying how we had to we had to dig out the whole front of this commercial building and then it was like 15 foot wide and 15 foot deep we had to dig it all out because their basement was flooding and then backfill it and this was the material they spec'd out Yeah, I think we got plenty of base in there, huh? It'd be nice and sturdy staircase. A little bit overkill, but this is just how it's working out. Nothing wrong with beefing it up a bit. Coming along here. A few more stairs to go and we should be up to the top. Just a hair, huh? Well, that side looks good. Yeah, that's leaning back too far, so we gotta jack it up a little bit. Crazy how different each step is, huh? That one's tipping forward just a hair, which you want. Just a little bit. Kick the water out. That one could be brought up just a little bit in the back. <sighs> okay. It'd be nice to scoot these in just a hair. Yeah, they kind of, this one especially kind of comes in a little bit at the end. Okay, so if I push on, push on uh, that point right here, it'll squeeze it together. This whole one could maybe slide in just a little bit but the next step might be kind of tight on that so yeah none of them are the same no they're kind of not perfectly level got to kind of pry over it's got to go that way a little bit oh yeah that would fix it right there let's see here quick did it do it yep how about side to side? You're not gonna get a perfectly level side to side. Depends on what part of the rock you balance it on. Here, you stand up there, I'll shove some back here. I lift it up too, and if you wanna do it that way. I think this is a waste of time. I mean, it's doable, but he'd have to actually pry the rock up to get it. But sometimes things work that you don't think would work. And I don't know in this case that that's going to happen, but <laughs> it is what it is. So what is Tim doing here? What does he got going on? Oh, uh, I want to Camera changed. All right. Oh, what? Oh, oh. <laughs> that was kind of funny. So that ah oh, what was Tim actually had thought he was recording an entire step process and he went to go check the camera and found out they had turned it off beforehand. So that was the ah oh, what. Um, so we're back at uh, putting one more step in on top of it. 
ended up the best way to get like when your steps are leaning back you want them to lean forward the best way to do it is you can shove rock underneath it i don't leg it i'd prefer just to lift the whole piece out as big of a pain in the butt as that is and What are you doing here, Alex? Backfilling. Backfilling. Why are we using black dirt in the upper level here of the, the wall, darker soils? What's the benefits of doing that? Grow some grass on it. Yep, better for growing grass. Otherwise, nothing grows. So Tim has actually been, hey, kudos to him. He's actually been trying to, I've been asking him, hey, you know what, talk to the camera, tell people what you think. And that's not his natural ability. And Alex, far from it. He's not very comfortable. He'd rather just head down and work. Um, but let's talk about what's going on with this right here. Uh, he's basically just using a jumping jack to make sure that he can get that all the way around. Now, I don't know. Some of you guys probably know this, but some of you may not, right? Um, jumping jacks look like they'd be a really good compactor, but they're not. They're actually kind of a crap compactor. So, um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. There's their, it's place for it, but like when you talk about how a compactor hits, it looks like it's really pounding, but in reality, like the pounds per square inch, I think it is, I don't really quite recall what the technical term is really isn't that high compared to a drum compactor i think a drum compactor hits at 33 pounds per square foot or is it an inch and i think a jumping jack is rated anywhere from 9 to 11,000 maybe 13,000 i mean a, literally almost a third of what a sheep's foot compactor is um so what i want to show you right here this is kind of a cool part because you guys can't see a whole lot and Tim can't either so from an operator's perspective when you're looking at how you're gonna build a wall you always go can I build it from the front or do I or do I have to build it from the back side and what I say that is Tim's actually you guys you guys are right in front of the camera he's actually up and at an angle looking down and he can't see diddly squat I mean, just, he's blind. So Alex has to be down in front and Alex has to be his eyes and give him a hand. him to make sure that he matches perfectly up to it and now he's trying to do it from the back side. or is he no no I'm sorry he does put one in from the back side though but not right here here he's just adding a base stone but it's actually good from this angle you can see how much meat he puts behind it so um you know he's trying to he's trying to optimize the flattest surface area so that the remaining stones can balance upon it and have something really good to sit on we'd always prefer to have our stones sitting on stones oh let's talk about backfill too because some of you guys are we going to talk about boulder fabric as well and we have just got a lot of time to do it only um uh, backfill, three-quarter clear, drainage aggregate. When do you use it? When don't you need it? 
you should always use it. But you don't always have to, okay? And I say you should always use it because it's just good, but you don't always need it and it can be frustrating and raise the price on your customers. And if you don't need it, is it then beneficial to put something in that isn't helpful to the job site that raises the price on your customer and may put financial strain on them? So that's this case. We don't need it. Why raise the price on the project? And, um, you know, we pass the savings a lot. When don't you need it? That's up to you. Every job is different. And don't email me your questions. When don't you need it or when do you? Because I have to actually look at jobs. Especially if you add a little diet Dr. Pepper in the Pellegrino. Pellegrino. Pel Pel whatever Alright Alex, where are we going with the camera? Okay. Um what so he ended up removing it. Oh! Fabric! I'm sorry you guys. I get into these things, right? Alright, let's talk about fabric. Fabric is definitely a good thing to have. You will need fabric behind a boulder wall, especially when you want to use a heavy duty interwoven fabric. You gotta use really heavy duty stuff, not no, no light landscape fabric, period. Oh, this is a much better angle. Thank you finally for moving the camera. Um, because it'll tear and rip. Now, here's the, here's the general rules and things that you need to be aware of with fabric in sandy soils you've got to have fabric because the fabric has to stop if your boulder wall is i don't know how this is going to look here so this is your rocks here's nothing and here's the dirt coming down your your fabric at this point will line the back side of the boulder wall and then it has to stop the sand from migrating through the joint spaces around the boulder and joint spaces around the boulder are okay now in silty clayey soils, this is such a cool scene, I love this part. In silty clayey soils, fabric can actually become a detriment if you have a lot of, lot of silt. And the fabric, what'll happen is it becomes a screen. So the particles come through it and they hit that screen and then they booger it up. And then no more water can pass through it and then all of a sudden it starts to bulge right? And so now it becomes almost like a dam. And so then you can actually have it rupture. And when the fabric ruptures, which is the weakest part, it's going to have a channel that funnels all of that water right into that one area. And so then you get these blowout areas, right? And that's where the fabric can become a detriment. For the most part, I always recommend using fabric. Now here's an option. If you don't want to use fabric, you can still have an amazingly, incredibly strong wall if you plant it. My favorite. Love planted boulder walls. They're a pain in the butt. They look bad if you don't take care of them. Um, it's, they're just, but they can be amazing. They can be gorgeous works of art too, if you really take care of them. They can be awesome. Um, so it's up to you and you have to okay great. They change the camera angle see all those little joint spaces in there all those little little spots if you were gonna plant this wall you would pack those from the front with uh, Material, you know with organic material or whatever. I don't know what you're gonna plant it with you're gonna plant it with something that vines and crawls I don't you know everybody's in different zones, so it, uh, it is what it is. Oh, I didn't like how Alex had to put his hand there. You're not going to stop that boulder, Alex. <sighs> I don't know, man. Guys, when they're working alongside a piece of equipment, the equipment makes it look like moving something is so easy. But it's not. And then guys always want to jump in and help out. It's like, eh, it doesn't matter how long you've been doing it. A guy always wants to jump in and help out. See how Tim had that leveling rod on top of those stones earlier?
Oh, he's digging out more base. What do you think, character stone? I think it's time for a character stone. I think the next one needs to be something cool. But I trust his judgment. Yeah, that's a character stone. But we can't see it because it's almost off the screen. But that's why Tim runs heavy equipment and he's not a videographer. Hey, Tim, notice the camera. We can't see you. Move the camera, Tim. Oh, thank you. Dang. He's a pretty smart boy. He, um, a little, little story behind Tim. Self-conscious is all get out. Holy crap balls. Um, he just never believed in himself. He was always like never good at math and never good at a lot of things. And he doesn't really feel, you know, qualified because now he's like co-owns the business, right? And, um, but you know, I always listen to Tim. We worked together for de decades and he'd be like, I'm getting older. I don't know what I'm going to do. And it's like, don't, well, you've got to, we all get older and it hurts, right? It just crap hurts. Just waking up hurts eventually. Um, so, you know, what well, do you want to be in sales? You want to do this? And I'm like, yeah, eventually I'm like, I'm just making him the co-owner. He cares. That's why. I mean, that's all he cares. He's, I trust him. That's the, that's the most important things, right? See, put that character stone in. That's tough. Ugh, I don't like that one, Tim. He doesn't either. That's good. I like that one. If you can get it to stay. Uh, what are we doing? Different stone? Huh. Oh, no. Same one. Oh, yeah. There we go. What do you think? That looks good. I like that. I like that a lot. I like it. What are we doing here? Oh, fabric. What, I don't know what the next step is they're doing. Oh, they're fabricing behind. Okay, so they're just connecting fabric to one other layer of fabric. I mean, I don't know what else you want to know about that. Fabric is fabric. Boulders, I guess a good point would be boulders are one of the few retaining walls that you do want to put fabric vertically behind it. I always get vertically and horizontally mixed up. I don't know. 49 years old and I couldn't remember my light, my left from my right up until about 10 years ago. Uh, things that really matter to you, right? Okay, so the grapple, it's kind of a cool technique. See how when we grab, oh, grab dirt, usually we grab it sideways. Gets you a big fat scoop that way. Live action. That's uh, the old turtle man. Oh, I still like that guy. Cool. What are we doing here, guys? Oh, digging out more bits and dirt, 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 dirt. I just seen that it was a timber retaining wall, so we had removed. Actually, it was a railroad tie retaining wall. And I say it like that because railroad ties are worse than timbers to dispose of. Harder. I don't know what they charge in your neck of the woods for timbers, but around here, I don't even remember what it was. It's just some exorbitant amount. Digging out the base, gotta be careful. Can't go too deep. If it goes too deep, you can't just put the soil back. You gotta put it back and compact it and compact it and compact it. Um, no, you don't go too deep, you can compact it with the jumping jack if you really go deep. And you gotta oversize your hole. You can't just fill the spot you did. I gotta admit, digging with the grapple's not always the fastest, but you can make it work. Kind of like how you can tip your bucket and just <laughs> feather dirt. Well, we're down to the last little bit here. Running low on selection of boulders, though. Kind of come up to that boulder right there. 
That's what we got left up there. There's like two more up in the front yard, and then we got right here at the moment. And he must have got it in place. And so this is the remaining. So this is the pile that we typically have left over. Um, so we'll bring this this pile back down to the yard. And like, oddball stones like this are kind of tough to build a wall with, but they make for really good character boards and they make for like, character boulders and boulder settings. Not really so much character boulders in a wall, but character boulders to highlight a wall. So like, let's say we build a boulder wall and a customer has a pretty massive property and you've got a wall just here by itself. Well, you kind of want to tie something to that wall, right? Well, you can take a few uh, these more interesting stones that really don't have a good shape to use for, you know, structurally and partially dig them into the soil. So it's like Mother Nature has exposed this thing. And then you <coughs> plop in a couple cool trees like here. I love pine trees. I mean, how the heck we've got them here. I think pine trees and boulders may be cliche, but I don't give a crap. They're cool, right? Um, and so that's that's why we save those stones for that. And so we could just use these to tie stuff together. But we actually got a lot more work to do on this job site. The boulder wall is done. And then I don't know if Tim's capturing the footage or not, to be honest with you. I asked him to. Um, the customer then asked us to build some Chilton State um, a walkway. And it looked gorgeous, at least from the pictures that I seen, it looked really good. And that's our video for today. God bless, guys. Uh, hey, let me know what you think of me just kind of sharing this part of it, like me hanging out with you guys. I actually kind of enjoyed it. I don't know if you did, though. Some of you probably are like, yeah, get off my screen, dirt monkey. And others are like, yeah, that was cool. So whatever. I, had, I enjoyed it. Uh, hope you did, too. God bless you guys. Go get them, and we will see you on Blaine's job site, which is coming out next. We call it the Scooby Project.